Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. It is Trixie here with Pick Tricks. I am going to be getting a Aquarius Full Moon reading going for my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. As always, if you want more information on that Aquarius Full Moon, there are a couple links down below in the description box for you to check that out, Virgo. You are going to want to check out all of your big four to get a total picture and keep in mind, Virgo, that I am not a licensed physician, so if you're not feeling well, seek out a doctor. Oh my gosh. Oh, Virgo. Okay. Six of cups in reverse. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Um, seven of cups. Wow. Um, five of wands in reverse. Eight of swords in reverse. Wow. Wild. Okay. Uh, you have options. All right. Um, the two of swords is in reverse on the bottom of the deck. You've already made a choice in some way, shape or form. I don't think you know that. <laughs> Um, there's a little bit of conflict around you that has nothing to do with you. And I feel like it feels a lot like the past, but it's, it's actually nothing like the past. Um, you have a lot of options. I feel like you're being pulled in a lot of directions. And when you make a choice with this seven of cups to go in one direction, very particularly, um, and focus on that direction, whatever it is that's being forced or feel like it's forced, like it's not working, uh, there's chaos, there's drama. It's like not your circus, not your monkeys type of energy. Um, it falls away and it releases you from some sort of self-imposed prison. Um, you've been stuck and stagnated. You've been holding on to something. You've been really thinking it through, working on something very heavily. And now it's time for you to uh, honor and reveal what you've been working on to the world. And that alone will let you make this choice with this seven of cups that is going to release you from some sort of inner conflict, inner knowing. Um, your soul has been at war with itself. And I feel like um, someone or something from the past may revisit you or you may revisit somebody from the past. This could be like, you may like run into somebody. <sighs> Give me a second. My knees are bothering me. And somebody with knee problems. And I feel like that energy... And you realize how wrong you were for each other, even though you were exactly what one another needed at the time that you were in each other's lives. You haven't seen this person for like six months, maybe, or talked to them. Six, seven months, maybe 13 months for some of you. Um, wow, Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you have an illusion right now around something in your life, Virgo. And it involves somebody from the past or like that illusion is slowly falling away. I have a lot of Virgos in my life, a, a lot. And I will say every single one of them is going through some sort of reality check in some way, shape or form about a particular area of their life that they've been, have been investing in and it's been very forced. Um, somebody that they've known all their life type of energy is not as good for them as they thought and there's something here about you Virgo waking up and realizing that when you focus on what is important to you with this seven of cups whatever it is that you have an illusion around in your mind in your heart you know it'll balance itself out and um what doesn't exist in that illusion will be replaced by what you focus on and many openings will show up for you Virgo that you're not anticipating and it won't be forced it'll be effortless you won't feel trapped um you'll want to spend time doing whatever this choice is with whoever you do it with okay um eight of pentacles and a six of cups in reverse you've been mastering some sort of inner child wound, no longer giving to it. You've been um, mastering a craft, mastering your person, uh, working diligently on something that you've had insight about for quite some time. You've known that you have to do this, go down this path. Uh, some of you may start write a book, writing a book in the next four to five weeks. A final draft of some sort of book or letter or um, this could be Virgo like college applications this could be um, you might want a promotion 
And in order to get that promotion, you have to go back to school or get some sort of certification. What's the Seven of Cups? Ooh. Got a Two of Pentacles in reverse, making that choice. Knowing what is for you, no longer procrastinating, no longer being overwhelmed by the legacy that you seek, by the path that you seek, that you desire. Some of you really want to build something in your life. You really want some sort of legacy. And you felt a little bit left out by the universe with this legacy, with this um, purpose, with this endeavor. It's almost like... <clears throat> um, it's almost like this, typically this self-imposed prison that's on the Eight of Swords. It's like you haven't really felt like you've put yourself there. You felt like your soul came here and signed up for some sort of lesson that you've been forced to go through. And now you are going over the next four to five weeks towards being released from that soul commitment, that soul contract. This is five of wands here, Virgo. Yeah, Nine of Cups. This is a wish come true, what you go through. This next four to five weeks is a massive wish come true. Somebody is going to offer you unexpected shelter, unexpected resources, an opportunity over the next four to five weeks that you're just going to say yes to. Yeah. Ace of Wands. This isn't something you have to go after that you have to plant the seed. This is work other people are gonna do in your honor here, Virgo. Yeah, Six of Swords and a Ten of Cups. You're moving on from some sort of illusion, some sort of lack of happiness, lack of peace, lack of har harmony, um, letting go of some sort of choppy waters, a difficult situation. Being able in this Aquarius, we, this is a blue moon month where we're gonna have two full moons. so. What you go through during this first Aquarius full moon, you will experience in the other full moon that we have in August um, again, but you will be wiser because the Leo new moon ugh, in the middle of the month is going to, oh my gosh, I'm burping, is going to support you, Virgo, uh, to having some sort of very financially blissful blessing that you've been wishing for, seeking. Um, I do feel like where you have felt inspiration lists, you are going to start to feel some sort of wish come true. I'd say by fall at the end of September, life for you here, Virgo, is going to look nothing like it currently does. Okay. Um, just focus on the one thing that you've already made a choice to work on and that thing will grow exponentially and release you from some sort of entrapment that has been in your life since you were little okay let's get one card to close out this reading this was a pretty quick reading virgo i'm really excited for you you do have a wish come true don't force it it's just going to happen with or without your participation and you will know what is for you when it shows up okay you are moving on from some sort of situation that you have not been happy in okay that's i feel like that's the most prevalent part of this reading and what you're moving on from releases you from this this has been a big soul contract that you've been trapped in and um for many of you you've been waiting for this fresh start to show up and in the next four to five weeks that fresh start is here and it is you know unencumbered it's just down for you it's meant for you you're gonna know you're not even going to doubt in any way, shape, or form what this wish come true is. One card to read. Yep, King of Cups. Very emotionally harmonious, blissful experience over the next four to five weeks. It's something that you've already made the choice. You already know um, something in your life is opening up. It's being honored. Uh, you're being accepted in some way, shape, or form, and you are accepting as well. Um, you may have a masculine figure, since this is the only court card that did pop out, the King of Cups. You may have a masculine water sign show up, and Virgo, say yes to this energy. This person is replacing an old water sign in your life, somebody that is 
exiting your life in some capacity. And um, Virgo, say yes to this new masculine figure because they are very clear in what they have to say to you. They are very open and honest. It's a masculine figure. It, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a man. Um, they know exactly how they feel, what they want, what they desire, what they're willing to work towards. And it is a massive wish come true where you have not had this level of self-acceptance and sureness from other people. Um, so honor it. You've worked really, really hard towards receiving whatever this King of Cups offer is. This could be in um, your job. This could be in love. This could be in school. This could be in a myriad of ways, but it is a wish come true. Um, you don't even have to trust your intuition when you make this choice. Just making this choice is going to feel good over and over and over again, whatever this Seven of Cups and this Two of Pentacles is. You're not going to have to force this thing that you choose. And as you choose it, there is some sort of truth that opens up for you. There's some sort of masculine figure that comes in, offers you unconditional love, happiness, uh, harmony, friendship, commitment, something like that. Um, and I feel like you are just letting go of some sort of karmic contract that you've been tied to for quite some time because you no longer just have time for it. Um, you're so consumed by whatever this choice is with the Seven of Cups because it becomes the Nine of Cups without you even having to go anywhere with the Eight of Cups. Um, the path is just there. It's very obvious for you. So congratulations, Virgo. This is a great reading. I'm really excited for you. Um, you are being released in many, many ways. And um, congratulations, 1137 was on the board. The most divine number that exists is 137. I think that's a great way to exit this reading and wrap it up. Make sure you're checking out all of your big four and I'll get at you next time.